The state is changing a coronavirus protocol, making doctors first consult with a state investigator and getting approval before filling out a patient under investigation form and collecting specimens. This, after always investigating, was first to reveal yesterday that Hawaii doctors alerted the state to eight cases they thought could be coronavirus, but the state did not send the specimens to the CDC for testing and discarded them, saying the patients did not meet the definition requiring testing. Gina Mangieri is always investigating and tells us what's changing. Gina? The lieutenant governor, who is a physician, tells me he thinks tests should be sent to the CDC now, like most states are doing, instead of waiting for our own kits to arrive. He also believes the parameters for testing are far too narrow. When the COVID-19 outbreak started in Asia in January, Hawaii doctors were instructed to fill out a patient under investigation form if a patient showed symptoms and had recently been in an outbreak area. Send the form to the Department of Health and collect two specimens. Always Investigating was first to report doctors turned in eight patients under investigation. The Department of Health discarded the specimens. No testing by the CDC. Those samples were thrown out and declared not to qualify. What do you think of that? Uh, I think that we should send some of these tests over. And I think that we still always should trust the clinical position in the community, unless there's someone that's very, very far outlying, uh, no need at all. The health department tells me all eight did not fit the parameters and are not among the 61 patients who are self-monitoring. But as of today, the protocol for flagging a patient is changing. The doctor will evaluate for flu-like symptoms and travel to outbreak areas, but must call the Department of Health investigators before any paperwork or samples are taken. If the state says a patient meets criteria to test, they will authorize the doctor then to fill out the PUI form, and the doctor will collect and submit specimens to the state laboratories division. There's still no way to test them except at the CDC on the mainland. We do expect to get the tests here, but not until mid-March. Too late from my perspective. So we're going to have to start sending some FedEx boxes over to the CDC. It's just what the people want, and I think that we're going to have to reassure people this way. Lawmakers agree. Time is of the essence, and so we, we cannot wait. This is going to affect all of our people. This is the safety of our people. 43 other states and territories have sent hundreds of samples in. And Hawaii is among the very few who are not sending it off. Why? Well, the reason that I've been given is because the CDC gave us very narrow parameters. And those parameters, which I think are far too narrow, I think we should test it. And I may be a, a slightly outlying voice in this regard. I want to have some capacity right now. I've asked repeatedly that the CDC allow us to use the Japanese tests. They're very uptight about that, so they don't do it. And that's unfortunate. I hope that will happen. People are saying tourism is our top economic driver in the state. Uh, what are we doing to ensure tourism continues? But at the same time, we need to take into consideration public safety issue, a pandemic that's upon us, in fact, affecting the whole world. Has there been pressure from the powers that be to delay testing as long as possible in order to protect our tourism reputation? Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, I, I'm ironically maybe one of the powers that be now. And I just, there's not been a single peep about not testing people because we're worried about that that I've ever heard. I think actually we don't want to alarm people or scare people because we haven't had that profile of in from China and sick and having like a pneumonia symptom. We haven't had that. Now, a follow-up coronavirus briefing at the Capitol was expected this week, but will be sometime in March instead. John Mizuno, the health chair, says it will give the state experts more time to recalibrate how they'll move from containment to mitigation. Health officials say they do expect to eventually identify cases here. Gina Mangieri, KH12 News, always investigating.